What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that rank double ladder, and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a banger of a team for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a Choice Scarf Reggie Draco team alongside Life or Regilecki. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. We just placed 9,000 subscribers on the channel, so I thank everybody who supports me as a content creator. But this team right here was actually used to get ranked number one on the ranked double ladder recently, so I cannot wait to get after it and try to get some wins with it. But starting off with this team, we have Regilecki in that top left corner. Transistor ability, Life Orb as its item so it can do massive amount of damage, Rising Voltage for stab, E-Web for stab, and Speed Control, Protect, and Hyper Beam for our coverage move. Right next to him is going to be a great support mod for this team, and that is going to be Gothitelle. Shadow Tag is its ability, Focus Sash so we don't get one tap for its item, Fake Out for Flinch, Helping Hand to help ally Pokemon do more damage, Taunt for opposing support mods, and Trick Room in order to counter Trick Room, or if we really need it, say if they have a lot of speed control, we can just send Trick Room with this Pokemon and take the control from them. Middle left, we have Urshfu. This Pokemon comes in any situation. This one's the Fighting and Water type, Unseen Fist so we can hit through Protects, Choice Band so we can choice into one move but do a heavy amount of damage, Surgeon Strikes for Stab, Close Combat for Stab, Aqua Jet for First Turn Priority, and Poison Jab for our coverage move. Middle right is going to be Incineroar, another great Pokemon that you can bring in on any team. Intimidate ability, Citrus Berry as his item, Flare Blitz, Lash Out, Fake Out for Flinch, and Pardon Shot. Love this Pokemon, can be used in any single situation. Bottom left is going to be another great Mon, that is going to be Glacier, a very, very strong physical attacker, especially if we get Trick Room rolling up, he can come in there at any time and just dominate the battle. Chilling Nay is his ability, Assault Vest as his item, and then that awesome moveset for him with Icicle Crash, High Horsepower, Close Combat, and Heavy Slam. Final Pokemon is the Pokemon I am really excited to show off for this team, and that is going to be Reggie Draco with that Choice Scarf. It's a Dragon Maul's ability, so Dragon moves do more damage. Dragon Energy for big stab double damage. Draco Meter for big stab single damage. Dragon Pulse for, again, big stab single damage. And Hyper Beam for our coverage move. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, Mental Code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this Reggie Drago and Regilecki team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a Venusaur and Torkoal Sun team. We always see this on the rank ladder. It's nothing new. He also has the Indeedee and the Alkazam alongside with Sakataka and Entei. So he has no fake out users here. That's big for us. Um, I think I'm going to lead the Reggie Draco. Try to show off this Pokemon in battle number one alongside with Gothitelle as our wonderful lead. I could bring in Glacier in case he sets up a trick room. Yeah, so I'm going to bring Glacier in the back and then final Pokemon. Probably going to be my choice band Urshifu. I feel like he just rocks out in all instances. So let's bring him in here in the final spot and leave Regilecki in the back end. Even though this Regilecki is an absolute beast, I cannot wait to show this Pokemon off for you guys. But guys, let me know for question of the day. Do you guys think they should add more items in Pokemon Sword and Shield? In my opinion, that would be amazing. If they add, say, like four or five new items, I think that would spice up the meta, the online competitive scene. Like, say, say you add three items. That means other Pokemon that don't really get used could be viable to those items bringing them into the game and making people use it more and plus a new item basically basically means like new meta like it really does because items control this game so much so let me know your guys answer in the comment section down below he ends up going in dd and alkazam which i'm totally fine with this turn i think i just drag him all into a uh a fake out well i know i outspeed all these guys so i might just help a hand here that is the possibility because i outspeed everybody with this choice with this Chewy Scarf, I think I might just go Helping Hand, and I can't fake out. I'm in the Surge, so let's just go Dragon Energy. We're going to be able to outspeed everybody, and just go for Helping Hand. So these guys are like, yo, I'm just going to go for the, uh, the, what's it called? The Double Expanding Force. I'm like, nah, yo, let me show you how it's done. Let me show you how it's done. We got the main man, Reggie Draco, and you guys know this thing is an absolute powerhouse. I think both the new Reggies are powerhouses, Reggie Lecky and Reggie Draco. Especially with the, uh, this set on both of them. We have the Life Orb on the Reg Lecky. He's a beast. And then we have the Choice Scarf over on this guy. Who makes him really, really fast. Helping us get off that Dragon Energy first turn. Indeed, he's going to end up protecting. And what is Alkazam going to go for? What is Alkazam doing? So he goes to protect out from you. And Alkazam is probably going to go down unless he's sashed. I could see him being sashed, but hopefully not. Dragon Energy's popping out here. And he is end up sashed. Okay, so he's going for a Trick Room. Let's see. Just gonna go for a gleam. Okay, so he gleams up. Can Draco eat this one? He does. But we are now choice into a uh, a dragon energy, which I'm just gonna send again. 
And I could just help him. It's gonna be my play. Just get rid of this Alkazam and do some damage on the DJ. Totally the player. But I wonder how much damage we're really gonna do now that we're like half HP. We did end up being sashed. See, that was gonna be my play if there was if there wasn't a surge. It was gonna be potentially fake out the Alkazam. Then get after it that way. The dragon energy is gonna fly through here. I'm gonna be able to do some decent damage on today in DD, but more importantly, get rid of this Alkazam. Beautiful. Beautiful. The solid first turn. If that Alkazam wasn't Sash, we, we were getting after it. Big time. Band Force pops through. That's gonna take out Reggie Draco, I think, right? Nope, Reggie Draco's still able to eat. That might end up swapping him. Might end up swapping him. Do I swap him? Or do I just let him go down? And throw some taunts around. Really depends who he brings out here. Because I still have that Earth Fruit in the back. I have that Glacier, who I'm potentially going to Dynamax. I'm going to end up throwing Socket Talk out here. That's beautiful. He's probably going to try to set up a Trick Room now. Joe, I'm totally fine with Do Actually, let's not let him set up a Trick Room. Let's go Dragon Energy. And just taunt up on Socket Taka. That's going to be my play. Taunt up on Socket Taka. He could go for a follow me. That could be his play. But then if he does get off a Trick Room... Then I just get out my Glacier. We have Glacier in the back for a reason. Dragon Energy coming out here. Doing a tiny bit of damage. How much damage are we really going to do with this? Like nothing. Because it's based on HP. So there's that. Air Balloon does get a pop. Taunt pops out here. And we say, hey, I don't think you're allowed to trick me now. Banner Force flies through. Reggie Draco's going to go down here. And I, I really do think Sakataka is going for that trick. Room. Which again, I'm totally fine with. If he wants to do it. But he's taunting so he can't. Yep, there's a Trick Room. reason I did do that is because I know Glacier is faster than Sakataka. So now I can bring him out here and not even have to worry about that Sakataka just going off on the speed board. So Glacier is going to come out here. We're going to end up Dynamaxing this Pokemon. And we're going to get after it. So I'm going to Dynamax. And do I go for a Knuckle? Do I go for a Quake? I could go for a Hailstorm to start getting stab damage off. And ensure us taking out this Ndidi. Good helping hand. I can Taunt. I can go like this. Good knuckle or quake. Quake could be good because we get that special defense boost. I think that is going to be better for us. We are going to quake over on to you. Just for that special defense boost and just helping hand. That's definitely going to be my play. I play 10,000%. Going to be helping hand and going for a quake. Because I could go for a hailstorm. That is big stab damage. But you don't really get a benefit out of it besides weather change. That's all you get is going to be the weather change. I can definitely see him having Torkoal in the back. But that's totally fine because, again, we're going to be able to outspeed it. And we're going to get a special defense boost here. And a chilling nade boost, which is lovely. Is he Dynamax in as well? He is. So we're going to see Dynamax for Dynamax. Might go for a Steel Spike into me. But I should get a chilling nade boost here, which could be big. Which could be big. This one's going to be real close. And I still have that Earth Fruit in the back with close combat, certain strikes, and he's choice banned. He is a choice banned, little Pokemon. He ends up Dynamax to Sakataka as like his last resort option. Helping Hand comes out here. We're going to say bye to this Ndidi. Ndidi, get out of my face. I don't need you here anymore. Oh, we're going to see double Helping Hand. Oh, he's going after me. He's coming after me. Yo, chill on me. Wait, coming through. We're not going after your Sakataka because he could be policy. I really don't feel like dealing with that. Ndidi drops. Perfect, just as I want it. We get a nice little special defense boost here. And Sakataka's coming for me, man. He is coming for me, and I'm not liking it. I'm not liking it one bit. Leave me alone. Chilling A boosted. So, yo, if we can get off a turn here, that'd be big. That'd be real big. Just for a steel spike, yo, eat this one up, yo. Say it's a tasty snack. It's real tasty, baby. Love you, Glacier. Love you, Glacier. So we get that rolling there. And he's gonna get a defense boost. Okay. I see you. I see you, man. Yo, this one's gonna be close, boy. Who's he gonna bring out here? It is gonna be the Torque one. Okay, so is the play going to be. To quake onto you? Is the play going to be to quake onto you? I think it has to be, right? I think we have to go out get after his Torkoal. I think we have to do that. And say maybe he guards the Sakataka here. He does not guard. Dang it, man. So, I think Torkoal's going to go down here. And uh, Torkoal protects. Torkoal does protect. Dang, man. Should've went after Sakataka. Here goes a Quake. Can Quake take KO? 
I don't think it's going to be able to. It's not stab. Nope. Not even close. That's going to be GG's. That is going to be GG's because he's going to be able to take out my Glacier here. And Gothitel can't hit anything. He can't hit anything at all. He's going to have one more turn in his Dynamax. The Rockfall is going to drop. Let's go in after Gothitel, which I would really like. Nope. He drops that. Changes the weather up. I don't know why he would change the weather up. Actually helps us out a little bit. And it's going to come down to this. It's going to come down to this. All right. So he has Stock and Taco with one turn left in Dynamax. Torkoal is chilling there. And we have Gothitel, who I'm basically just helping him. He's going to get a beast boost, and his defense is going to go through to me. I think I have to choice into a Surgeon Strikes, because then we get crits. And, uh... I mean, what's it called? And it will ignore defense. But I think we have to choice into our water move, right? Our surging strikes. That has got to be play. And the real question is, who do I go after here? Do we see his, that Sakataka taking us out in one turn? I don't really see that happening. I'm going to go here. And... I guess I helping hand, right? I don't even know. I guess I helping hand, right? But I, I know I can't take out Sakataka while it's Dynamax, so I need to wait it out. So I need to hope we're able to eat up a Dynamax move from him. What is he boosting? Defense, and that's it, right? So maybe Urshifu can eat up. Let's see how this one plays out here. Torgo can't protect again, and even if he does protect, we're going to be able to hit through it. Certain Strikes is going to pop through here. We're going to say, yeah, yo, Torgo, get out of my game. And all we need right now is this, uh... We need this, what's called, this Urshifu to be able to eat. Because look how much damage that did on one shot. We get three of those things. Yo, eat this one up. Eat this one up. What you got coming up after me? Steel Spike, yo, Steel Spike. I need you to eat up. Oh, you go ahead for Gothitelle. Oh, my lord. Hold up. Wait a minute. So you're saying there's a chance. He's like, yo, I'm defense boosting ES Urshifu. He doesn't know that these are guaranteed crits. And they ignore defense. That is huge. That is huge. He goes after Gothitelle. Yo, we got a big chance of winning this battle. Big chance. Because he's going to drop a gyro ball, so I think we have to kill him here, right? We have to kill him here. His defense boost don't matter. It has Your defense boost has no effect on this. We're critting. It ignores all that. It's stab. It's choice banned. It's super effective. Come on, yo. Give me the KO. We're playing this one really well. This is a really good battle. Really good battle starts off. Third strikes come through here. Let's see that. Let's make it happen here. How much damage are we going to do on the first one? Oh, this is going to be close. Can we get it? Can we get it? That should be it. That should be it, yo. Let's go. Let's get it. Played battle number one really well. Waited that, or not waited out the trick room. Counteracted the trick room and got after it with our Urshifu and end to pick up that win. Awesome first battle for today's video. We got to show off that Reggie Draco as a lead and then have that Urshfu and Glacier come in the back end and pick us up a win. But we're hopping into our second battle, going up against a Landorus team alongside with Incineroar, Regilecki, Tapu Fini, Moltres, and Metagross. I feel like I used a team similar to this before, but this is just heavy meta. This is like the top six meta Pokemon right now. Just throw all on into a team. So, going to be tough. Hopefully, we can pick ourselves up a win and go back to back. I think I'm going to lead the Regilecki. I think Regilecki is a solid lead here. And I might lead the Urshfu alongside with it. Or do I just go double? Do I double up with these boys? Or do I go in with Gothitelle? Because I could potentially taunt. Hmm, let's go Incineroar here. A lovely little Incineroar. We'll bring Urshfu in the back end. And then final spot. Let's just go Glacier. I think Glacier is solid all around. I could actually lead the Glacier. But I'm fine with this. I'm totally fine with this lead. Maybe I should have went in with the Gothitelle alongside with Regilecki because Gothitelle is a great lead all around. We can taunt up on Pokemon, we get that free fake out, but I just don't think we need it here. I feel like Regilecki is just going to be able to outspeed a lot of these guys and do big damage all around. So I'd rather get out that instant War. We have fake out on that option and then we get the Intimidate drop right off the rip. So let's see, hopefully he throws out a physical attacker. He's going to go in War and Tapu Fini. Um, I can see him swapping the Tapu Fini into maybe the Lando. Right, maybe the Lando. I think I just drop a Rising Voltage onto it, that slot and fake out the Incineroar. Right, just in case he doesn't swap. Because I don't want to waste, I don't want to waste a Dynamax move. I really don't want to waste a Dynamax move just onto Top of Finny, right? 
Right? I really don't want to do that. So do I drop a rise voltage or do I E-Web? E-Web could be play. Machines wouldn't do. Let's see that thing protecting. There's no way it stays in, right? No way it stays in. So I'm just gonna E-Web. And I'm just gonna fake out onto you. Let's go with that. Fake out comes out and he doesn't swap. Wow, we'll protect. E-Web comes out. Wow, I could've just dropped the rise of voltage and pick up the KO. It could've been wonderful. And similar's on that fake out board. I'm totally fine with all this. I still have two great Pokemon in the back end of Dynamax. If Regilecki takes big damage here. Bloody Water's gonna fly through here. Oh, I'm with it. Regilecki should be able to eat, right? Yes, he does. By the skin of his teeth. <laughs> By the skin of his teeth. Another E-Web's gonna definitely pop out here. And I think I'm just gonna Parting Shot. Right? E-Web into Parting Shot. Could be to play. Yeah, let's dip out. Let's dip out. Let's say see you later. E-Web popping. I think actually I could have doubled up into the, uh, the Incineroar slot. Could have did that. There's a speed drop. And we're just going to swap. And who do I swap into? Maybe Urshifu? Much like he goes down to that. So this shot is coming into, into my Incineroar. It's coming into my Incineroar slot. So that's, that's a big... A big, I don't know. What do I do? It could be a flare blitz. If we get the attack drop, he is really, really low on attack. So I think I just swap in the glacier. Who would I rather take the shot? Urshifu or glacier? Hmm. Do I want to take the shot? I think we're gonna have Urshifu hop in here. But I think it's gonna be a flare blitz, right? I think he wanted to get rid of that Regilecki, so he's just maybe Flare Blitz and into me. Nope, it's the Lariat. Dang it, man. It's gonna be the Lariat, but he is minus two, so I'm kind of cool with that. Shouldn't do too, too much. Yeah, see, so it's easy eat. It's easy eat. And it's not very effective anyway. I thought it was uh, just a normal move, but it's all good. The Glacier is gonna fly out here, and now I have the choice of Dynamax, and I think I'm just gonna Dynamax Glacier here. Glacier is just great all around. And Moltres is gonna fly out here as well. Yeah, definitely Dynamax is uh, this Glacier. We have a Soul Fest on it. We'll drop Ice. And take out you, and I could just go for Surgeon Strikes. Is that the move I want to go into? A Surgeon Strikes. What other Pokemon could he have in the back? Yeah, Surgeon Strike is just awesome all around here. So we're gonna go for the Surgeon Strikes. Let's pop it. Get onto the Sinister Noir. That's gonna be our choice move, and then drop Hail onto the uh, Moltres. But he's not Dynamaxing here. He might just double down or get after my uh, Urshifu. Uh, I wish I did have Protect, but again, the choice move. But I think Urshifu actually might go down. Maybe I should have Aqua Jet. But we should be able to outspeed it. So we should be able to get off the Surgeon Strikes. And be able to take out that, uh, that Incineroar before Moltres even gets off a shot on me. Nope. He outspeeds. Hurricane does connect. That's crazy. And Urshifu's dead. Urshifu is done for. He's done for. But Moltres is also done for. Let me say Moltres get out of our face and dump on him. Incineroar's minus two. He's about to be minus three. So I'm really not worried about that Pokemon at all. Moltres drops down, and we get a chilling name boost. Yo, dude, our boy's coming out strong. Our boy is coming out here. But, dude, imagine if I would've just went for a rising voltage turn one onto that uh, Tapu Fini slot. This match would've been over, because I would've just dumped on that Pokemon, had the flinch on the Incineroar, and just Dynamax my next Pokemon. He's gonna go for a parting shot. That's a smart play right there. So he's gonna be able to swap, take out my chilling name boost, and bring me down to minus one. Okay. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. So I'm gonna go minus one. He still has Dynamax. Hopefully it's a physical attacker he brings out here. Who's gonna be? It's gonna be Metagross. And it is a physical attacker. But we cannot intimidate him. Tough news. Which is real tough news. We can bring out my boy here. But I'm just gonna fake out on this Incineroar. I think we're just gonna go fake out for fake out. And try to get after this, uh, this Metagross? Is that a play to get after this Metagross? Because he could be policy. He could be policy. Clear body popping. This might be the death of us. Metagross, I think, is going to come in here and win them battle, num battle number two. And a huge swap from him. That was a huge swap from him. That was a huge parting shot from him. Very big. Uh, hmm, what do I go for? What do I go for? Quake might be a play. I can just go for the max knuckle. 
and fake out combo. Let's do that because we're still at 414 health. So I'm gonna look for the KO here. I'm definitely gonna look for the KO here. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get because we are minus one. And I need attack boost here. And Metagross does outspeed us. So we can guard. And if I can get attack boost, the player bus can do a decent amount of damage over on the Metagross. So I'm hoping we can fake out and KO this Incineroar, get that attack boost, and then get the chilling nade boost on top of it. Be able to pose a threat on the Metagross. And even give uh, Incineroar a big old attack boost. Fake out comes out here. Bink. Doing, doing a little bit of damage. And then Metagross is going to go next. He's going to go for a steel spike. Get that big defense boost. And I think Glacier should be able to eat this one up, right? Yeah, we get one eat up. We get one eat up. Okay. But he gets a huge defense boost. And also Incineroar gets a defense boost. So I feel like we're not going to be able to KO here. Oh, and it is Life Orb. So it's not policy. It is not policy. Can we KO? We do not. We do not. That's going to be GG's. That is going to be GG's all day. Unless I guard... And I can't even guard. I only have a move to guard with. That's tough. That's a tough loss for us. That is a real tough loss for us. Considering we were sitting pretty well in the beginning. But, dude, if I would have rising voltage off the rip and just went with my instinct, that would have been easy win. It would have been easy win all day. But again, we can't guard. We might as well just go in through quick on this slot. Lash out. Good lash out here. Might as well double up in this Pokemon. <laughs> might as well, right? Let's see what happens here. Steel Spike flies through. Nah, that's GG's. That's GG's. He's going to take out Incineroar and get another defense boost. So this move is going to do nothing. It's just going to do nothing all around. It's going to do nothing. Defense boosts are clutching up. They're clutching up all day. And that Hurricane did us dirty too with that Moltres. I thought, uh, I thought Urshfu would at least be able to outspeed, you know? Moltres. And of course it connects it because I would have missed my Hurricane all day. But it's all good. We get off Quake here. No damage. No damage whatsoever. The big play by him was that parting shot at the end there. Because what were we? We were plus one. We were plus one. He was able to get off a huge parting shot. Huge parting shot. Well, if it's our chipping away. Um, I, don't, I don't have anything in my Dynamax turns over. So we're just going to run this one. We are going to be sitting at one and one. And trust me, guys. We're going to get Regilecki out there in that third and final battle. And pick up that winning record for you guys. Before we even check out this team, we're leading Regilecki. I don't care what Pokemon he has. I definitely want to show off this guy and grab ourselves this win in battle number three. But we're hopping into our third and final battle. We're going up against... Yo, is that Wigglytuff? Yo, we're going up against a Wigglytuff team alongside with Grimmsnarl, Glacier, Toxtricity, Dustcops for Trick Room, and Competitive Milotic. So we got to watch out for that Competitive Milotic. We are going to lead Regilecki. And I think we're going to lead Gothitelle as well, just so we can taunt up if he wants to go into Trick Room. We're going to bring them two in. Definitely want my boy Urshfu in the back end. And then final Pokemon could be the Glacier. Ooh, or do we not bring Urshfu and go in with our uh, Incineroar and Glacier? I definitely want Glacier, just in case he ends up getting off that Trick Room in some way. But do we want Incineroar over top that? I'm trying to think. Do I want that? Really think we need Incineroar. I think I think I'm liking the team that we have. Let's rock out with these guys and get after it and try to grab ourselves a win in battle number three. But yeah, before I even looked at the team, I was like, yo, I'm leading Regilecki. I'm gonna show off this Pokemon because he's really, really strong. I honestly could have brought him into all three battles and just Dynamax him. He's that strong. With a life orb, it's just insane how much damage he can do. So hopefully we get to show him off to the fullest potential and grab ourselves this win. Let's see who he leads into. Let's see how it goes out about this one. Let's cops and Grimmy poo. Okay. Uh, I'm cool with that. I can taunt. He does have fake out as well. He does have fake out as well. But I think he's just going to fake out and get off the trick room. I might end up Dynamaxing. Do I end up Dynamaxing with this player? I don't think I end up Dynamaxing. I think I just drop like a, a rising voltage into you. And go for the taunt. But I can't fake him out. And if he picks us out, that's tough news. Gonna go for the fake out. He is gonna go for the fake out. You buttered biscuit. Okay, I'm cool with that turn all day. You fake out my Regilecki, yo. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. We'll taunt up on the Trick Snarl. I'll say, hey, you can't do any of that. No Trick Rooms for you. Now you guys are in big trouble. <laughs> now you guys are in big trouble. There's your problem. There's your guys' problem. Now you're in big trouble. Now you guys don't like where you're sitting. Now we're helping hand in. Now we're Dynamaxing this Regilecki because you faked out onto my Regilecki. Should have faked out my Gotha Tell. Could have had a free Trick Room up. Now we're getting after you. Now your Dust Cops cannot go for that Trick Room. We're going to say Grimstone, get out my game. We're going to be rocking out here. See how this one plays out. We have speed all day. Um, I might end up swapping my Gotha Tell soon. 
Depends really what happens, but I can just legit go into free helping hands all day and just send these max lightnings out with Regilecki. Let's see what he does here. Our helping hand comes out here. We say, hey, here's a, here's a nice little damage multiplier. He's going to end up light screening, which is totally fine. I still see us hey Owen through this light screen. Hopefully we end up doing this. That'd be huge. Let's KO this Crimson. I'll get him out of here. Yep. Get him out my face. Through the light screen. Tell him to go home. But yeah, back to that question of the day. They should make an item that, like, say they pop a light screen or a reflect. Our item comes out and just breaks it. Right I think that's a cool item. I think it's a really cool item. Gonna end up going for a Nightshade. Yo, dude, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. Nightshade's not gonna do that much damage to us. And we still have my boy Regilecki out here. So, who are you gonna bring out here? What's your next play? Glacier is gonna come out here. Which I think I have to get after this Glacier. Let's get after this dang horse. Let's go for a Lightning here, and let's just help a hand again. Might as well, right? Might as well. He could actually guard. Maybe I should have went after the Clops. I think he's gonna protect. There's Dynamax. I think he's gonna do a max guard here. I think he is going to do a max guard. Let's see. Or he might just be able to eat this one up. But she probably will be able to do the light stream. Let's see how much damage we are gonna be able to get. Because he's probably just gonna end up quaking and getting after us that way. Then I could honestly just bring out Urshifu and choice into a close combat. Which isn't bad for us. Helping hand comes out. There is no max guard, so we're just gonna try to get off as much damage as we possibly can here. Lightning flying out here. Get after this guy. Bink. Huge damage on through Glacier. Especially through a light screen. That's huge damage through a light screen. And there's the Quake. And down goes my Regilet. No problem because this thing is just a lightning. Just lightning. Yo, he ate. Yo, my boy ate. My boy ate. He ate. Yes, sir. Oh, he doubles through. Come on, man. He doubles through. I thought he was going to go after my, uh... My got the tell there. I was gonna say, yo, dude, my boy ate, but that's even better that he did eat. Considering he uh he what's it called? He doesn't get the chilling neighbors. Uh I could just taunt up again for free, so I think I'm gonna do that. And probably just choice to a close combat and try to get rid of this glacier. Right? I think that's easy I think that's that's easy play, right? Taunt again. And just close combat. Because if he guards, that, that that's fine by me. Let's do that and then just uh just go for a taunt again. We can't let him get off a of max guard and trick him, right? Can't let him do that. Let's see his play here. Let's see his play, dude. Reg Lucky's doing some huge work. Look how much damage he did to that glacier. Dude, if we would have got one more turn, oh my god. Could have been awesome. Could have been awesome. But we have our own glacier in the back, so if he ends up getting off a of trick room, which I don't see him doing, I think we should be fine. Close combat comes through. This should KO, right? Yep. Just as I planned. Close combat goes into Glacier. We get the fence drop, but more importantly, Glacier goes down. Get him out of my game. Get him out of here. We don't want him here. We don't need him here. We're going to be able to taunt up on this thing. Now, is this thing going for another trick room? Is he planning on doing this thing again? Is that your plan, little buddy? Yeah, yo, you ain't doing that. You ain't doing that. Didn't I, didn't I teach you this lesson already, old man? What's that SpongeBob quote? He's like, how many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> We're choosing to do a close combat. I'm just going to go after you with that. And I think I'm just going to Helping Hand. I can see him canceling out this battle. That's one plays out. Helping Hand comes through here. We just got to get rid of this Wigglytuff. My Urshfu cannot hit that, uh, that Dust Clops. He cannot. Can we KO this thing? Oh my lord, yo, Urshfu. Chill on everybody. Chill on everybody. I might end up swapping the Urshfu. I think it's going to be play. Just in case, you never know if, like, Gothitelle goes down. Or, yeah, if Gothitelle goes down or something and we can't swap him. I think I'd just rather swap. I, th I do see him canceling out this battle because I can't hit him right now. So, I have to swap. Swap Glacier. And just go for a... I don't even know. A Tricker? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I guess we're helping hand. <laughs> I think he's gonna cancel anyway. Yep, there's the cancel. Two and one. Grab ourselves that winning record for today's video. Got that winning record with this double Reggie team for you guys today. We got to show off Reggie Draco in that first battle and Reggie Lecky in that final battle. And more importantly, grabbing ourselves that winning record for today's video. 
But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive every day, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.